What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. The Auto Shop Life, hanging out with me, Jim, JRC54. So guys, it's that time of year again. Just got the old uh, update on the Varus. We'll go ahead and update this thing to 20.2. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so as you guys know, I use one of my main scanners is a Snap-on Varus. Uh, I'm on this subscription program, so I get these updates, you know, obviously two a year. You know, I'll get the .2 and .4. Haven't really heard too much about the 20.2 update. I've been waiting on it. I actually saw it on here prompt me the other day. You guys can see it's fully downloaded on here, ready to go. You guys know, you guys have been following the channel. You know, we go through this process, kind of just show you guys what to do. This one is the over the air, you know, for you guys out there that don't sign up for the subscription or have the automatic updates, you know, you'll give this to your Snap-on guy, he'll take it out of your truck and pretty much download the same thing. I get it through over the air, so I get it a little sooner. Like I said, I've had this on here for maybe a full week in general. It took a couple days to download because I kept turning it off and all that stuff, but it looks like it's fully downloaded, ready to install, I'll get set up on the uh, workstation here and take you guys through the process. All right, so before we get started, like I said, I really don't know, you know, the last update, the last two updates were pretty great from Snap-on. Um, I really haven't, I haven't been following the updates, you know, with the recent events, everything that's going on, I have certain things on my mind and, you know, other non-important things just haven't been thought about. Uh, so looking to update, you'll see a little eye, little eye icon or it's, you know, shaped like a little scanner down under. It'll be flashing red. You'll hit that. It'll tell you if you're up to date or not. You go ahead and download it and uh, you know that's pretty much how you're going to do it but before we do that we'll drag that out of the way kind of get a glimpse of what the 19.4 looks like here go ahead and kick off the suite let it boot up try to take care of this glare here get you guys zoomed in a bit open up the suite and most of the time this is what you know the first thing I look at is when the suite opens up you know what kind of icons they got you know what's different what did they add things like that um, you know pretty much here you got you know the regular going to the scanner function you got your generic your guided component test to get into your scope the sure track information your cloud snap on cloud I've actually never set this up on here yet I do not save uh, from here I save from the other scanner I got uh, vehicle history, quick lookups, data manager, training and support, system setting, and then the exit. This has been changed a few updates. You know, I kind of like this layout. I know each scanner is going to be different. Like the Zeus, you know, is not as colorful or maybe some of the icons. You know, if you have, like, the, if you're using the Triton or anything like that, you're going to have less icons. If you don't have a scope on here, you're not going to have that on there. But as you guys can see, we're at the 19.4 now. So I'll pretty much close this out. We'll go ahead and hit the little icon that I told you guys. That should open up. Check for updates. Nice. And after you check for updates, this popped up. It actually launched the suite again. Um, so I paused it real quick. But I do want to close the suite while this is uploading or, or installing. So I'm going to exit out of that, drag this back up. We're going to go to install now. Go ahead and click that icon. It'll start the process, open up the wizard for you, the install wizard, kind of go through. It gives you the progress bar the whole time so you know you're doing it right. And then we'll just kind of zip through this. Any important parts, maybe I'll edit in here, but just go ahead and leave you guys to it. Get this on a uh, time lapse, get it to go through, see all the functions it goes through. Get you zoomed in with no glare here. There we go. And you kind of just let it do its thing now. And it'll prompt you to hit a couple things. You know, yes, no, do you want to install all this? After it installs, I will be throwing away this icon because it is going to give me another icon. So I usually just, you know, toss that in the trash, start a new one. You can name it and all that stuff. You know, I'll take you guys through that when this all updates. Then we update the module. So this, this will pop up. You want to, you know, who reads through the terms and conditions, you go ahead and check that box. Agree and continue. And then it'll, it'll kick off the wizard.
this prop up installation has complete successfully you may need to update the firmware on your scan module which is this we'll hit OK that was a pretty quick one there um, let's go ahead and launch the suite usually it'll take you through a couple more steps and all that I, I guess I'm not anticipating too much of a change here you know it they probably didn't change too much on this 20 as opposed to just putting in the new vehicle information obviously updating that um, you can already tell the 20.2 icons different um, to me it looks like all the icons here are the same obviously scope the ones that are important to me the scanner the scope uh, snap on cloud I, I do got to set this up I've been meaning to do that um, and then you can see this little icon flashing here but what we'll do before we do that we'll go into scanner looks like all the same cars are still in here we got the 2019 now I was at 18 before so you can see we updated the year doesn't give me the 20s but I'm always a year behind or I'm really six months behind so they say so yeah everything pretty much still the same it still prompts you to plug in the module and all that stuff We'll go ahead and take you guys through uh, updating this module. So basically, you'll leave the suite open. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug the module in. I'll go ahead and zoom out here. We'll go ahead and plug this module in on a car I got here just off screen, and then we'll take you guys through that process. All right. We'll get you guys zoomed back in here. I got the module plugged into a 2015 Ford Escape that I was working on yesterday. We did an alternator on it. So we'll see if it picks up automatic. Probably not because the module is not updated. I'm not really sure. It's going to go ahead and link to the module and then it'll prompt us to update it. I always like to update the module right away. So when I use this scanner the next time, I, you know, the module is ready to go. I'm not sitting in there updating my module. I already updated the unit and I'm waiting on the module. So here we go. It's going to prompt you to update available for your, the module. Do not power down. I got the car on. We're going to go ahead and update now and it'll take you through the progress. Program succeeded hit OK and we should be ready to roll with this it is a 2.5 Duratec just make sure it logs on to here this looks different so we could right away before it saves to the cloud when we go to do a you know a post pre-scan we could put in the license number the mileage um, let's see what the mileage is here so we got 8359 let's see how this process is pull up 80 359 that way you don't have to go back in there and do it um, close that out looks like I could even do a license tag number hit OK do I want to load the escape yes I heard the module beep it means it connected it tells you where the dongle is the DLC connector there we go we could do a pre-scan Did an alternator on this the other day for some U codes that were in it. Had a battery light on, all the good stuff, typical stuff. Actually, funny story too. Went to go put the alternator on, still wasn't charging. So I went to go look into the shutters and all the TSB recalls this Ford has on it. Went through, spent another hour diagnosing it after I already diagnosed it the first time, and come to find out the alternator I put on was a defect. Had to get another alternator, put the other one on there, the third one on there, and then it was fine. But uh, talk about a waste of my life, waste of time. So we're good to go. Yesterday I cleared the codes, but you got no codes in it. We'll go back. Switch ignition off. Okay. Now we'll get out of here. We'll go home. Exit out of here. And then it looks like it took care of the icon already, but you guys want to change this icon, the name, you could go to just hold long press it go to rename and then we'll pull up the keyboard here 
And like I had on here, what I like to do is name it snap on, uppercase O, N, hit enter, and there you go. Rename the icon. So usually when I update, I've had issues where, you know, it would have the new icon and then it still have the old icon. It looks like it took care of it for us and got rid of it. But if you show both, you know, you'll want to throw one in the trash and then just use the new one. But we'll go ahead and launch the suite. See what the boot time is here. You can see copyright 2020. So I'll be ready to go with these, you know, 2000, late 2018, 19s now. Not that I see a whole bunch of them outside of, you know, just oil changes, normal stuff. Um, but, you know, I like to be prepared. I like to stay up to date here at the shop. And there we go. The icons are the same. The scope still works. Everything else looks good. We'll go to, uh, and if you guys ever want to minimize this, you'll hit desktop. And then you guys can minimize it. So that way the suite stays open for you. Pretty sure most of you guys know that. But uh, there you go. Pretty much set up on that. We'll go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. All right, guys. So wrapping this one up, you know, I got to keep in tradition, show you guys how to update these scanners. You guys, let me know down in the comments. Are you guys staying up to date with your scanners? You know, whether it's, you know, using Snap-on. I know, I know the cost of these updates are crazy. You know, Snap-on, I, I really wish they changed their ways and come down on price on some of the updates on these. You know, what I do like about it as opposed to some of my older Snap-on scanners, you know, if you're behind a year or two, you know, most of the time you got a cool driver and all that. They don't make you buy them like you used to have to, you know, update and buy the updates till you got to the current year. You know, at least now, if you're a few years behind on it, you really just, you know, they, they charge you a little bit extra and then they'll get you current. But uh, are you guys updating your scanners? Are you guys staying up to date with, you know, the new technology, the new tools, new things that are coming out? You know, I try. I'm real big on staying up to date on accessible information and you know having an updated scanner is definitely one of them you know i want to make sure that a car comes to my shop i got the most current data and information available that i can use to make my job easier you know diagnosing through these cars or trying to figure out these cars or program reprogramming something doing brake jobs on these newer cars but you guys let me know down in the comments are you big on the updates? You know, I know some techs and mechanics that really don't care. A scanner's a scanner, you know, and you could get away with certain ones you could get away with if you don't have the scanner for it. Obviously, to me, you can't do the job correctly. So leave your comments and everything below. Keep it in tradition. You got the 20.2 update. Maybe we'll see you guys again in another six months when we do the 20.4, see if they change anything. I will post with you guys if I notice any big changes on these. For the most part, it looks the same. So what's cool about it now, you guys can see before you do your pre-scan, post-scan, you could put in the vehicle information, the plate, the mileage, things like that. We'll see if anything else changed. I'll go ahead and you know let you guys know. But as always, guys, wrap this one up. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.